So I give too many f**ks about too many things. Find out which book I'm reading next and how it's going to help me. Hey, so welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a f**k. And this book is fantastic. And the best part about it is that it's not what I thought it was about. So I told you the book title. The book was written by Mark Manson and I haven't read anything else of his. He is a blogger and he has a couple other books but I haven't read anything else but this was a great book. So the genre of this book is nonfiction. The topic or theme of the book is self-help or self-improvement which I've really been enjoying and the book is read by the author so that's been fun as well because they're getting to tell you the story in their own words and that's an extra special twist. <laughs> So the main characters of the book, you, <laughs> the book is about how you can improve, how you can change things, how you can stop caring about so many things all the time. So you are definitely the main character. Mark Manson does share a couple of stories and anecdotes about his own life and about a couple other things, but the book is about you, right? You're reading the book and you're like, man, how does this apply to my life? So that part was great. So I had a lot of quotes that I really liked from this book. So I'm going to give you my top three okay the first one is many people become so obsessed with being right in their life that they never actually live it the next quote that i really loved was sure rejection hurts fear hurts these are particular certainties that we can hold on to certainties that we are afraid of letting go of it's easier to sit in a painful certainty that no one finds you attractive or no one values your talents than to actually test those beliefs and find out for sure. So these two quotes are really important to me because being right is really important to me and it's something that I learned in law school. And if I can do the research and find backing and facts and all these things to prove this is my angle, this is my perspective, and these are supporting materials to show that I am correct. So that is really important for me. I do try very hard not to roll that over into my personal life, right? Because I, I can be right, I can be wrong, I can say I'm wrong, all of it. But it was really hard for me to learn. So I really love that quote where it's like, don't be so right in life that you actually don't do anything. I thought that was exceptional. And the second quote means a lot to me because Mark gives a couple of examples of someone who thinks they're unattractive so they never try to ask someone out or someone who believes that they are untalented so they never ask for a raise or ask for a different role in a company. And that quote meant a lot to me because you can be so mired down in believing this is what's happening. I know they'll never give it to me. I know I can never do that thing that you never actually go for it. And so you would rather feel comfortable in knowing I know he's not going to give me the job why I asked for it than just going for the job. And I was like, OK, all right, all right, I see what you're doing here. So bonus, the really important plot twist to this book is that it's impossible for you to not care about anything. So spend your time wisely and care about things that are really important. And I was not expecting that, right? I thought this was a, a book written by a rebellious person who was just like, don't care about anything, run through life, burn through people, burn your bridges, have a good time. And that's not the book. So I will definitely reread this book. I had a great time reading it. In fact, next for me would be to purchase the book and see what it's like to actually read it and process it through my own words as I'm reading it. So this one is definitely a will read again book. So thank you for watching this video of Kyla's reading day. I had a great time discussing the subtle art of not giving a f I cannot wait to read your comments. If you picked up the book and you found it helpful or if you know anyone that's read the book and you thought it was great. Also let me know if you've read anything else by Mark Manson. Manson? Manson? Yeah. So until next week this was Kyla's reading day. You have a great one. Bye.